Hey guys, this is TJ and Dave with Gemini Fitness and Combat. This is our fundamental series. So what we're going to do is talk about the basic splints, the handle of the sword, fundamental, whatever we're going to do, and progress from there. So for example, what's an arm bar? You can't chain attacks unless you understand what an arm bar is. Uh, you know, imagine if you have a tree, you have the whole trunk of the tree and then all the branches out. So you have the fundamental motion and all your options that grow from there. Um, triangles, omplatas, any kind of sweeps, all of them follow the same dynamic. So, but this whole series is just meant to be, this is a basic move, this is how we build from that basic move. So, starting off, arm bar. I control the wrist, you get two on one baseball bat control. Keep it to my chest, I hold it, I'm not squeezing, I'm just holding. I keep it to my center line right here under my chin. My elbows are down. Same arm, same leg. I pinch that leg straight up, the other one goes straight up. I'm not bringing it above his armpit. I'm trying to keep it on his lat, more in the armpit area. Now I'm not shifting my hips out. If I shift my hips out, I'm gonna lose the arm bar nine out of 10 times with someone they know what they're doing. So if I'm here, you can see how he's squishing together. I drive my heel down, place the leg. Pinch my knees together, drive my heels down. Dave gives me a thumbs up. This means it's okay to break his arm. If Dave's thumb is this way, when I push up, I'm not gonna get the arm bar. This is going to give you the arm bar and give you the tap. So one more time. When I bring this here, this helps break his posture. My foot in the hip stops him from standing up as easily. If he does stand up, then I have him hinged and I have some more options from there. This pinch here doesn't allow that elbow to retract. This leg coming up doesn't allow this elbow to retract. Ride it down. My hips don't come out. Take the other side out. Now people want to cross their legs. It's a security thing. You know, you shouldn't do it with the way I teach. Statistically, according to Don Air, it doesn't matter. For me, it matters. Two points of contact, I ride him straight down. If he beats one of my points of contact, I can still get this and re-engage re him. I can still get the sweep, I can transition to other stuff. I just don't like this because it's one point of contact that he has to beat. I'm married to that, I don't want to do that. So from here, to the finish. So, this fundamental motion, where you start to learn the leg shearing, the knee shearing, hip shearing, whatever you want to call it, that's going to allow you to progress with the different fundamental moves and the way we teach it here. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out. Classes are available on Rogue Fin, and um, yeah, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you for your time.